Ag PhD full episodes and more are now available on Acres TV, the newest ag platform connecting you to fields of information. Look for us on watchacrestv.com. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about how farmers use satellite imagery. Well, this is kind of an interesting thing, and just a side note here, Brian and I uh, grew up on a farm just a few miles away, and still farm in the same spot, just a few miles away from the place where all the satellite transmissions come into our country. So even as kids, we were very well aware that, wow, there are satellites flying over the globe every day taking images and I remember as a kid thinking wow that would be neat if someday this could actually help us on the farm well Brian that day's now we can get helpful things from satellite imagery yep it is so with these satellite images that we get and we get them in a very regular basis now by the way there are a number of different services out there so if you are a farmer you can look into all that but if you're a non-farmer we just today wanted to explain well why do we use these things what do we do with them and to me I'll just put it in one phrase it's like getting your harvest map early because over the years we've always questioned at harvest oh why is this area yielding poor and this area is yielding great well at harvest you can't really look at anything everything's done well if you can see that same type of image three months earlier now you can go into the field and see what's going on good or bad well even now it's getting later in the season there's not a lot that you're going to do to greatly impact yield but you can look at the satellite imagery and see okay here's some areas that look really good right now are probably going to be my highest yielding spots here's some problem areas and that can give you an early heads up of all right when i'm running the combine through the field i'm going to stop in those areas and see if i can figure anything out on the plants or in the soil yeah, but that's what's going on and that's exactly what we don't want to do is waiting until harvest we need to know now so we can go into the field now by harvest you're not going to see much and that's kind of the whole point here if we can go out there today and actually investigate two months before harvest well that's awesome so yeah that's one of the big things we use it for there are some people who will use this to do variable rate fertilizer even variable rate seeding i mean there are a lot of different prescriptions that as a farmer you can take that satellite imagery it's one of the pieces of data now you can make adjustments on your farm for a number of different things and that's a key phrase there it's one of the pieces of data you can use certainly you can utilize something like yield maps and and soil fertility maps and also this satellite imagery to see okay where are my better areas on the dry years or where are my problem areas on the wetter years those kinds of things to help you put together a variable rate map for the future well once again farmers do use satellite imagery more than ever because it's much more available much less expensive than it's ever been so we're super excited about this technology as it continues to improve and we'll see better quality of the imagery and more frequency and everything. I'm just, I'm excited. It's one of the big things that we've seen change here in agriculture, just even in the last five to 10 years. Well, one of the things I hope never shows up on satellite imagery is a big patch of our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 